We're back at Fiddlehead at Four Corners Art Gallery. Today it's Mayfest, May 25th, and it's a great day here in the gallery in downtown Bennington because we have free beer, which uh, Paul there is drinking from Nor <laughs> Northshire Brewery. Uh, we have our photo contest winners, and the, uh, the jewel of everything is Olympia Hostler, right here from Rumson. <laughs> She's an award-winning <laughs> acrylic painter. And uh, for the last 15 minutes, Paul here, yeah, yep. who used to be a journalist in D.C., has been talking with Olympia about her work. Talk to us about why do you like uh, Olympia's work so much? Well, I've learned a lot from speaking with Olympia today. Um, we learned that... Uh, I learned about the different centers of the body um, in relation to uh, yoga and meditation, um, but more specifically, I, I really like the work um, just because of the, the color is really bright. She's asking me if I could find um, images in the art, but I kind of personally take it for what it is, and I, I like the fact that when she starts, there's a, usually a base color, and there's an idea of in her mind about what the image will look like, but usually it ends up turning to be something completely different. Um, my favorite piece that <laughs> popped out to me most is the biggest piece, Breath, right here. We spent some time talking about it. Um, Which won an international award at the 68th Audubon <laughs> Artist yes. Festival. You can yes. see why. Yeah. Just beautiful um, stuff. It's just, it's, it's bright. It's passionate. It's a really beautiful piece. Yeah. So what do you see? She asked you about what you saw in there. I said, I see the boar. This is what it's a, here's the boar. Here's the boar's head. Here's the boar's eye. Here's the body. And, sorry for touching it. And, and all these little flames bursting out. What, what do you see in the... Uh... Well, I, I, it reminds me of a simple image of, of fire and passion. Um, I, 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 don't, I can't say that I get a specific um, graphical representation of anything other than the idea and emotion behind the colors within the piece. That's what I personally got out of it. Is uh, this something you would buy uh, one day for your home, or is it just more, would, more pretty to, to look at? <laughs> <laughs> I would have to whew, um, get a good tax return Right. some of those things. <laughs> it's coming. It's on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Many, many, many years from now. Do you have any advice for uh, people who appreciate art and painting and acrylic painting in this form uh, about coming down to Fiddlehead and checking it out? Because she's going to hang here. She's been here for two months, well, but she's brought eight more pieces today, including these here. Um, but what would you say to people who appreciate art? Uh, well, what I would say is be, be even beyond the work that we're looking at right now. Um, I, I consider, I used to consider myself as like an ambassador of Bennington and its arts community and its beer community and I, I love I love Vermont. I think when people look at southern Vermont they often get the wrong images because they might think of you know northern Vermont as being a little better or not but we have a vibrant arts culture along with the Bennington College and arts artists around all this area whether it be music or physical pieces or sculpture um, please you come visit places like Fiddlehead and support local artists any way you can and if you're passionate about doing it um, check out what's going on in southern Vermont there, there really is a lot going on thank you Paul yeah. and again if uh, we're going to be here for a few more hours if you want to uh, come talk to Olympia in person <laughs> she has a great spirit and she's fun to talk to and she has beautiful work talk Cheers. to you soon <laughs>